Welcome to the course on design of all electronic converters. So, today we will be discussing with magnetic cores. So, before this lecture, whenever I have uh, done any derivation or uh, gave you any explanation related to magnetic cores, I have shown you this diagram. Uh, which is like of a square magnetic core uh, which is uh, which can be wound to make the inductor or transformer. Uh, but this is uh, just for your, uh, your explanation purpose, your magnetic cores uh, they are available in different geometries and of different sizes. So, when you choose a magnetic core the important things that uh, has to be selected are your core material which we have uh, discussed previously and uh, then next is your core geometry, your core size and air gap length if it is needed. So, let us uh, first uh, look into what are the different uh, um, types of your core geometries which are available. Now, I will show you pictures of only few of them, there are many many different geometries of magnetic cores. So, uh, one of the widely used core geometry is the toroidal core. So, this is the shape of the core, uh, you can see here it is just uh, circular and uh, then uh, conductors are, are wound on it like this uh, all throughout and then that uh, makes a inductor. So, this is your toroidal core and it is uh, very much used for your uh, making chokes uh, especially for your uh, EMI purpose. Then next uh, this is the pot core, it looks like the shape of a pot so that is why this name is given. Now this has got two parts in it, you can see here this is one part of the pot core and top of it what goes on is uh, this other part. And uh, uh, here uh, what is shown is that, that uh, the how the conductors are wound on it. So, what uh, uh, usually happens is that, that this is there is what is called as a bobbin which is used. Now, this is a plastic casing. So, this plastic casing goes inside uh, the magnetic core and then on top of it are the coils which are wound. Okay, so, this is like a bobbin is a casing which helps in your uh, winding of the conductors. So, uh, here uh, inside it is, is the bobbin and uh, on top of it are these uh, conductors uh, which are wound and uh, this upper part will sit on top of this and this is where from this your conductors will be accessible to connect you to the rest of the rest of your power electronic circuit. So, this is uh, what is again another picture of it which is shown here, you can see that then these two are joined uh, using some tape. Then this is another uh, popular uh, core geometry which is your U core, the, so this is of the shape of the U and two of uh, these are uh, joined together. Uh, to make a complete magnetic core and in between them actually you can place some uh, material and uh, you can create that air gap. Okay, so, this is uh, uh, those uh, pictures uh, shown of um, your inductors and your transformers made out of these cores. Now, this is another core um, uh, which is called as the CC core. Now, uh, you may be thinking that they all look this uh, same but there is slight difference that is you can see here the edges over here, uh, the corners are round in this case whereas the corners over here are not so much round. Okay. So, that is uh, when it is a round corner so that is your C core or C C core and when it is not so then you have got the U core. And uh, here uh, you can see that, uh, that these are uh, then joined together, now they may be joined uh, using some strips or some tape, so that is the joining of them and uh, then here you can see that uh, this, these are the conductors which are wound and those are these conductors which are coming out. So, these conductors are wound on this one side of these magnetic core. 
whereas for this one you can see here that the conductors are wound on both the limbs ok and here is where your conductors are coming out. So, you can make transformers out of it or you can if this is only one then you can also make uh, inductors out of it. And sometimes uh, here this is uh, done on both the sides sometimes so there is uh, if it is a transformer so then you have one coil your primary first wound and then top of it is the secondary which is wound. So, those arrangements are also possible. Further to fix them there may be some arrangement the which is what is shown here that may be there to fix it or mount it to your required place in your converter. Then next uh, this is your PQ and uh, RM core. So, this is your uh, um, your PQ core and this is RM core. Now, uh, here uh, you again you may be thinking that uh, they are the same, but they notice the difference uh, this is uh, straight over here on the edge, whereas here over here this edge is not straight it is uh, bent. And uh, this kind of uh, dimensional picture is uh, also provided by the manufacturers of these cores and these are very important because uh, then uh, these uh, dimensions uh, uh, is what you have to note down and see whether uh, I mean what is the size of that core and uh, whether that size is going to be suitable for you or not. Okay, so choosing the size of the core is a very very important uh, thing in the magnetics design. So, you can see here this is the dimensional picture of the PQ core and this is the dimensional picture of the RM core and they are different. And uh, here it is shown how uh, uh, you make um, your magnetics out of it. So, these are the two cores and then uh, further this is the bobbin. So, this is a circular bobbin which is going to go inside between these two cylinders and uh, then a wire will be wound on it. And here you can see that there is some projection coming out of it. This is actually you connect the wire here and then these uh, pins can be soldered to your PCB. So, some of these inductors may be PCB mounted that means you can straight away solder those uh, magnetics into your PCB. And uh, then you uh, place uh, this bobbin over here with conductor and uh, finally, you put uh, on top of it the other part of the core and uh, then you can come join them together using some strips or some tapes. Then next uh, very popular type of core is your EE core. So, it is a shape of an E. Uh, so, two E's are joined together and in between is what your air gap can be given. And uh, this is the nature of the bobbin. You can see that this is your plastic casing, this black plastic casing and uh, this itself uh, will have uh, the pins uh, which you can use to mount it on your PCB or some uh, anywhere else on your converter wherever required. Okay. And uh, then you wound the conductors over the bobbin and uh, then you can also put uh, insulation tapes over it and it can be many times joined by putting tapes all around the, the joining of the two cores. And uh, these pins of the bobbin can be outside which then you can use it to mount it to the places or, uh, uh, or solder it to the PCB as required. So, this one shape is your EE and another shape is your EDT. Okay. So, this is similar only thing is that that there is the in between it is a circular. Uh, um, as compared to here which is your rectangular. So, here this is your uh, circular it is a cylindrical inside. So, that is your EDT core otherwise uh, but the arrangements are similar, but the bobbin is also again going to be cylindrical then instead of uh, this kind of a rectangular bobbin. Now, uh, till now whatever I have shown you is uh, basically you have the core and uh, uh, you put the bobbin and then you put the wire over it. Now, there is another type of core which is called as the planar core. So, these are the pictures of your planar core. So, here uh, what happens is that these conductors are put on the PCB. 
So, it is very flat it is like that uh, almost flat to the and parallel to the surface of the PCB. So, this green one is your PCB and uh, then you make holes in the PCB of uh, the proper size and shape and this planar core can go inside it from both the sides like you can see from the top side and the bottom side of the PCB. This can go inside uh, through these uh, cuts uh, uh, which are made in the PCB and then these uh, traces can be there on the PCB. So, uh, when these are joined together, so on the board itself using the PCB itself a uh, um, your magnetics and inductor or a transformer can be created can be obtained ok. So, that is your planar core. So, that was uh, your different geometries in some pictures that you uh, I showed you for uh, giving you an idea of different types of cores are there and as I told there are many other geometries you can explore for yourself. Now, uh, what are the things that you should note down from the manufacturer's data sheet? First is are your the data of your dimensions. Now, here I am giving example of uh, E E ferrite cores. So, this uh, E E ferrite cores this is the dimensional picture it, it has got uh, these kind of two windows in it this is the part which we are going to join together. So, then uh, uh, this is uh, one diagram and this is another uh, diagram which is actually showing you the cross sectional area A which is this area. So, this is this uh, area your uh, AC cross sectional area AC and uh, then uh, further other uh, dimensions are also uh, given. Uh, this area this part of the area is your WA the window area ok. Now, here this will be half of it and there both of these are connect uh, joined together. So, that is your total WA the window area and uh, what is the uh, length of it is uh, is your uh, G part and then further the total length is your C and uh, what is the distance between these two is your E length that is denoted and this total length is denoted as the B length and then further uh, your total of this is your uh, A is uh, what is with the length that is given here. And uh, then this part of it is your uh, D that is also provided this length your these lengths. So, those uh, uh, dimensional data are uh, given here the values of them. Now, these are given for different different part numbers because this E course will be available in different sizes. So, different sizes are given different part numbers. So, for E E 187 for example, this A B C D E G this uh, data is given. Similarly, for other uh, core sizes also this data are given. So, this is what you should be noting down from the manufacturer's data sheet because these are further what are required for designing the magnetics. Other important data which you have to note down from manufacturer's data sheet are your design data. Design data are also provided by the manufacturer. So, for those same E cores this design data is given. So, uh, which is what your WTCU this is given in grams this is your weight, copper weight. So, you have to wound copper wires on it. So, what could be the copper weight? So, that is copper weight that is given and uh, then uh, weight of iron means basically weight of the ferrite that is also provided uh, by the manufacturer. Then uh, further your MLT your MLT is the mean length turn So, what uh, we mean by that is there. So, here you will be winding. So, there will be turns and these turns will have mean length. So, that is your mean length turn. Then MPL is the 
magnetic path length. Magnetic path length, uh, but this I have uh, shown you before also. It is uh, when you have uh, this kind of uh, uh, geometry. So, then uh, whatever is the total magnetic path length, so that is your MPL. Then uh, your next is your window area. I just explained you what is your window area. Window area this is the window. So, this part is the window on which your conductors are going to be wound here. Okay. So, that is your window area. Then this is what we will be discussing later on. So, that is called as your area product. And uh, this is the core geometry coefficient. This also we will be discussing later on. And this AT is the surface area. So, what is the surface area? Surface area means this has got uh, the surface. So, what is the outer surface area? of it area of that surface that is your surface area AT. And uh, then this is your AL milli Henry's uh, per 1000, this is 1K, that 1K means 1000. So, that means uh, be your for your uh, uh, 1000, how much is the Henry, if, I mean how much is the inductance you will be getting. So, if you have 1000 turns, then how much is the inductance that you will be obtaining that also is a is value that is sometimes provided by some of the manufacturers. Okay, so, that is given over here. Then further uh, what uh, we left out is your cross sectional area AC. This I have just shown you. And uh, this uh, ratio W A by A C is uh, also sometimes provided uh, in the data sheet that you can lo uh, look for it. I mean of course, you can do it for yourself, but uh, this ratio is also sometimes given. So, what are the key points of uh, this lecture? The key points are that uh, your uh, for selection of the core important things are your material, geometry and the size. And uh, there are different core geometries and for one particular core geometry also there are different uh, sizes uh, which are available. And when you look into the data sheet you should uh, note down the dimensional data and the design data for the particular core that you have selected. Thank you. Thank you.